French are lucky, Captain and Manly United. The season prep's gone really good at the moment. Uh, we're all working really hard to, to get our fitness levels up, but I feel like the team's bonding really well um, also, um, and we're looking sharp when we're playing our game, so very happy so far. Um, well, first of all, it's important that we kept a lot of our core from last year. Um, we brought in Travis Cooper uh, from the Newcastle Jets. Um, he'll do really well for us this year. Um, we've also brought in uh, Luke, he's a player from England, uh, playing at Band United when he was a junior. Um, so he's brought some great experience to our squad as well. Um, but like I said, keeping a lot of our experienced players from last year really helps. Some of the experienced players I feel that are in the core of our spine, so Sam Gallagher, uh, centre half, Travis Orchard also another centre half, Daniel Bragg, um, and then Kieran Paul as well, I feel uh, he's given us some strength at the back. Our expectations are mainly um, are quite high this year. I think it'll probably be classed as a failure if we don't make top five just because we've got so much confidence in our squad this year. Um, so definitely top five is where we want to be playing. Uh, finals footy has been a long time coming at Manly, so we really want it this year. Yeah, the local community gets behind us a lot and I think that we owe it to them uh, for a long time now to kind of push their support um, and reward them with their finals footy spot. So I think um, they deserve a lot and, and we appreciate their support and what they're doing for us. Well, look, I think um, that some of the teams that we kind of expect to be very strong this year are going to be your standard teams like your Bonnie Riggs and your Black Towns, and they've always got a great squad each year. Um, but without blowing our own trumpet, I think that we're going to be pushing for it this year, and a lot of clubs won't be expecting that. 